हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ विल डिस्कस द टॉपिक दैट इज प्रोडक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस ऑलरेडी यू नो इलेक्ट्रोलिसिस इज द प्रोसेस बाय व्हिच द इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी इज कन्वर्ट टू केमिकल एनर्जी दैट मींस विद द हेल्प ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी द केमिकल एनर्जी केमिकल चेंज टेक्स प्लेस when current will pass then the dissociation of electrolytes takes place during this uh, dissociation what happens at the anode and oxidation anode oxidation reaction takes place at the cathode reduction reaction takes place so redox reaction takes place during electrolysis so the nature of product the product obtained in anode and cathode depends upon the oxidation and reduction reaction of the particular substance particular species it depends upon the reduction potential already you have read that a reduction potential is very much important to characterize the nature of substance whether it will be oxidized easily or reduced easily it depends upon the reduction potential if the reduction potential is high so that it has high tendency to gain electron that means it will be reduced fast if low reduction potential then it will be oxidized uh, easily this is the some important concept regarding the reduction potential so in the product of electrolysis we will discuss what are the nature of product for the electrolysis of the particular substance so uh, let us start from that water if you take water if you take water undergo electrolysis you know as water cannot electrolyze because water is a covalent compound it cannot be ionized completely that's why water in h plus medium what was in h plus medium produce h plus ion and o minus i when pure water cannot be easily hydrolyzed it is cannot be dissociated because it is purely covalent character but in presence of some acid or base or presence of some ions also water gets dissociated into h plus and o h minus ion as h plus ion it will move towards cathode under reduction forming hydrogen gas this is at the cathode this is at the cathode and o h minus loses electron produce o h as o h is is unstable it is unstable it dissociates produce water and oxygen and this oxygen gas again combine another oxygen forming o2 so this is the product o plus o combine o2 because oxygen cannot remain in atomic form it always produce in what you can write also half o2 that is no problem you can also write this one instead of o2 you can write this one half what half o2 so this is the this case is the this is occurs in anode so this is the product of electrolysis of water then if you take sodium chloride solution aqueous sodium chloride it produce na plus and cl minus and as it is aqueous it has also h plus ion and oh minus ion in the solution because it is aqueous so what happens here in between this na plus and h plus ion which two are negative and two are positive always positive goes to cathode here between na plus and h plus ion h plus ion moves towards cathode and gaining electron become h2 gas because hydrogen has higher reduction potential than sodium so that which has because it has generally zero it has zero volt but sodium plus has minus 2.71 volt that's why higher reduction potential is reduced 
that's the product is hydrogen gas and here Cl minus and OH minus preferably Cl minus I will tell you very important things the product is Cl2 half Cl2 because here important thing is what OH minus although OH minus has very important thing although OH minus has but low reduction potential compared to Cl minus but uh, what happens practically that uh, OH minus cannot lose oxygen here you have what happens the due to form the formation of OH minus to oxygen required more extra voltage that's why over voltage is necessary for the formation of OH minus 2 OH minus 2 oxygen required over voltage required over voltage over voltage required some extra voltage required that's why very important thing that thermodynamically it is possible thermodynamically is possible but kinetically is very slow very slow very slow reaction that that's why kinetically it is not possible thermodynamically is possible both should be possible thermodynamically and kinetically then the reaction will be spontaneous or feasible that's why formation of oxygen from OH minus kinetically is not possible if you don't get some extra voltage needed that's why the prefer is Cl minus convert to Cl2 here thermodynamically and kinetically also kinetically is more preferable that's why you will get what chlorine gas and the anode anode gives chlorine gas and cathode gives hydrogen gas but if you use sodium chloride in liquid form that is molten sodium chloride it is produced Na plus and Cl minus no S plus no OH minus is there so result is your Na plus move towards cathode produce sodium metal at the cathode and Cl minus will convert to Cl2 at the anode so this is the result of Multi sodium chloride, this is the result of aqueous sodium chloride. If you use sulfur, aqueous sulfuric acid, aqueous sulfuric acid, the result is H plus ion and sulfate ion and OH minus ion. Three types of ion will be there. Sulfuric acid produces H plus ion and sulfate ion and H plus ion and OH minus ion. Then what happens here if here H plus ion then in electron become hydrogen gas and your uh, OH minus by losing electron becomes water and oxygen already I have told you so 2H minus 2 electron 2H minus losing 2 electrons and forming oxygen so oxygen will produce at the anode and uh, other cathode hydrogen gas produced for the but nucleosis of sulfur gas although it has sulfate ion but sulfate ion cannot be easily oxidized compared to OH minus ion there is two factors one is mobility ionic mobility another is reduction potential this uh, OH minus has a low reduction potential but sulfate ion has a high reduction potential that's why OH minus is preferred for the formation of oxygen compared to sulfate ion. But if you use, use concentrated sulfuric acid, if you use concentrated sulfuric acid, concentrated, then it will produce H plus ion and sulfate ion, preferably H plus ion and sulfate ion, concentrated medium. That's why H plus ion gains electron become hydrogen gas. And here sulfate ion convert to two sulfate ion convert to S2O4 that is S2O4 O8 sorry S2 and 2 minus will be produced and using electrons. Okay, then what happens at the cathode hydrogen gas is produced and at the anode after losing the electron becomes thiosulfate thiosulfate ion is produced instead of uh, oxygen gas thiosulfate ion is produced because the concentration of sulfate ion is more and uh, due to the uh, higher concentration medium thiosulfate ion is converted to thiosulfate instead of 
OH minus. That's why this is the product of endotensis of dilute sulfuric acid and constant sulfuric acid. Then very important thing is that uh, let sodium uh, sodium hydride. If you take sodium hydride in liquid state, then produce result is as it is only this Na plus ion and H plus H minus ion. So Na plus will gain electron becomes sodium at the cathode and H minus ion losing electron becomes what? Hydrogen at the anode. This is the result for the sodium hydride. Then using copper sulfide solution, copper sulfide solution, aqueous copper sulfide solution using using uh, that uh, platinum electrode using platinum electrode it is called non-attacking electrode result is your copper sulfate copper ion and sulfate ion and your H plus ion and OH minus ion both are available here what happens in between this here you see two positive two negative if you check positive ion here what happens Copper ion gets electron to become copper at the cathode because copper has more reduction potential than hydrogen. Copper reduction potential of copper is 0.34 volt and uh, hydrogen is 0. That's why copper can easily convert to copper 2 plus can easily convert to copper at the cathode. Then in between sulfate and OH minus ion that prefer will be which one? OH minus ion already I have told you OH minus ion using two electrons become uh, that uh, water and plus half O2. Already we have discussed so oxygen gas produced at the anode. At the anode, oxygen gas and the cathode, cathode, copper will be deposited. So copper deposited at the cathode and at the anode oxygen gas is produced. But if you use if you use copper sulfates, aqueous copper sulfate using copper rod, using copper rod, then what happens here? Here electrode is copper, here electrode is platinum. This is the difference. So it is attacking electrode here, ions are copper ions and sulfate ions and here H plus ion and OH minus ion, both ions are available because it is aqueous medium. But here, as it is a copper, so first step what happens? Copper easily oxidizes to copper ion. Where? At the anode, what happens? We save the same copper, same electrode gets oxidized to copper ion. Instead of sulfate ion and OH minus ion, your copper will be preferred for the oxidation. In terms of reduction potential, if you compare to sulfate ion or OH minus ion, both ions are available, but your itself copper gets oxidized instead of oxidation of sulfate OH minus as per the reduction potential. It has high reduction potential, but it has a low reduction potential. If reduction potential is low, then easily oxidized. Then what happens? Remaining at the cathode, what happens? These copper ions at the cathode convert to copper. So this is very important thing is if you use copper sulfate solution using copper rod always at the anode copper will be dissolved. The thickness of copper will be reduced and the thickness of cathode will be increased. So loss of copper from the anode and gain of copper in the cathode. So one side the thickness increase, other side the thickness decrease. This is very important that uh, that the copper sulfate solution using copper rod and copper sulfate solution using platinum rod. So these are similarly you can take also silver nitrate. If you take silver nitrate solution, aqueous solution using silver rod, the result is that I am writing here result is silver at the cathode and silver ion at the anode. So here if you use silver rod, so Ag and both Ag will be form Ag plus and Ag like this. Copper 2 plus copper Ag plus and Ag will be form. But if the same Ag NO3 solution using platinum rod, then what happens? Here Ag will be deposited and here oxygen gas will be formed instead of Ag plus because there is no Ag is there. 
Here here Ag Ag already itself Ag is used as electrode. Here on platinum, so platinum is a non-attacking electrode. It cannot be oxidized. That's why the result is oxygen will be preferred because silver nitrate solution aqueous. It will produce this. Okay. So these are very important. Uh, that uh, similarly, if you use copper fluoride, using copper electrode, result will be copper. And here chlorine, copper and copper two plus both. If you use copper chloride using copper, copper and copper two plus will be formed. But if you use aqueous, if you use copper chloride using platinum, result will be copper and chlorine gas. So non-attacking electrode, inert electrode. If you use, you get The corresponding chlorine like this, your oxygen like this. But if the same electrode copper will be using copper rod using copper salt, then always result always result is copper and copper two plus silver and silver plus. So you have thing like this. Which type of electrode we are using for the electrolysis of the what electrode lights? So these are three important concept regarding the electrolysis of the electrolyte the product. Of electrolysis, here the important thing is what the uh, which case oxidation takes place and which case reduction takes place mainly depends upon the reduction potential. You have to if reduction potential is given then easily you can know it. But if not given, you have to practice. This is the some tricks. I can remember the electrolysis of what the particular electrolyte. But uh, if I say, for example, you have read that uh, I will take one example: sodium acetate. Electrolysis of sodium acetate using your platinum, using platinum electrode. So here, what happens? As it is CO minus and Na plus in aqueous medium, then what happens? Always first step is what happens? Hydrogen gas is produced because aqueous means already H plus is there. H plus and N plus already discussed. H plus and N plus. What is that one? Uh, here. Yeah. Just to see, H plus and N plus if both are there, then result always hydrogen will produce. So as N plus and H plus there, so hydrogen will produce at the cathode and anode here. CS three CO minus. CH3CO minus what happens? It gets dissociated, produces ethane, produces ethane, and carbon dioxide gas will be formed. And the resulting solution it breaks CH3CO minus breaks lost like OH minus. Here, which one? Already discussed here. OH minus convert to water and oxygen. Similar acetate ion is convert to CH3CO. CH3CO2, CH3CO combine. Here two molecules will take produce ethane gas and carbon dioxide gas, and the resulting solution will be alkaline due to formation of NaOH. As aqueous NaH will be formed because Na is there means NaOH will be formed. That's why always medium is basic. If any sodium salt will be used, the resulting mixture will be alkaline nature due to formation of what sodium. Hydroxide. That's why the nature of medium will be alkaline. So sodium acetate produces hydrogen gas, acetic gas, acid, that is ethane and carbon dioxide. So these are some important um, examples. It differs. It uh, product differs from electrolytes to electrolytes. But uh, one thing you have to remember: the what way it gets dissociated and what are the second secondary step. In the oxidation and reduction step, after oxidation reduction step, what are the secondary step, and then which ion will prefer you for the oxidation and reduction? It depends upon the reduction potential. So you have to practice more regarding the product of electrolysis. You have to remember some tricks that in which case, for example, sodium aqueous sodium chloride always result is chlorine. Always result is chlorine. No oxygen is produced. In other cases, you see sulfuric acid. No sulfur ion is involved. Produce oxygen gas. And concentrated sulfuric acid. No oxygen gas is produced. 
here thiosulfate ion will be produced. So like this, you have to remember the that uh, principle behind the eutrophisis. Okay, thank you. All.